Hi. I'm really glad you picked up. Well, it's just... I don't know, I, I haven't heard from you in a few days and I got a little concerned. I know you've been struggling a lot, so I wanted to make sure that you're doing okay. Have you been, like, taking care of yourself lately? Oh, have you done anything these past few days? Just laying in bed, huh? Are you able to sleep, or have you just been staring at the ceiling a lot? I'm sorry. I know it can be hard to find motivation, especially when your mind is literally fighting itself. No, 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 don't, don't apologize. You're doing your absolute best. It's absolutely not your fault. Is there any way I can help? Hey, no, listen. I'm your best friend. Of course I care about you. I really want to know if there's anything I can do to help. Trust me when I say this. You are worth caring about. You're worth all the love and attention I give you and so much more. Words don't even do that justice. I know. I know it doesn't feel like it. But that's what depression does to your brain. It lies to you. It makes you think of yourself as worthless when... That really couldn't be further from the truth. You're such a wonderful, valuable, and irreplaceable human being. And you literally make the world a better place just by being here. Trust me, I'm sending all the digital hugs I possibly can. You are so important to me. I truly treasure you. I promise I mean what I'm saying. I care about you more than anyone else does. And even if you think I can't help, will you let me at least try? Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me help you. And with that being said, can I ask you some more questions? Yeah, think of this as a mental health checkup. Please be as open and honest as possible. I promise that whatever you say, I won't judge. So, tell me, what are you doing right now? Have you been in bed? All day? Well, what have you gotten up to do? Oh, good. I'm glad you ate something, at least a little bit. Have you taken your meds? <laughs> Great job, seriously. That's a really important step. Um, anything else? Did you drink any water? Okay. No, that's fine. Just, next time you get up, I think you should get a cup of water and just bring it back to the bed with you. It'll definitely be easier to do things if you're properly hydrated. I know... It is difficult, and I don't want you to overexert yourself. I just want you to be okay. When was the last time you took a shower? Hey, no, don't worry. 
I promise I'm not judging. I only ask because I want to make sure you're staying as healthy as you can. Okay. Thank you for telling me. I think that showering is also something you should try to do. Even if it's just standing under the water for a little bit. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I know you know that. I'm trying not to explain the obvious. I just want to give you whatever motivation I can. Hey, no, listen to me. You're not lazy. And you don't have to say sorry. I know you're doing everything in your power right now. It's hard to do basic things when you have depression. I've been in your position before, but I might not know how you feel right now. And, unfortunately, I don't have anything that'll fix it overnight. And I really wish I did. But I can let you know that you're not alone in this. Not one bit. I'm here to support you the whole time. Also, this next question I want to ask is going to be a bit more serious. And I want you to be truthful with me. Have you thought about hurting yourself? Thank you for being honest with me. Like, really. Thank you. Are you in an emergency situation right now, though? Like, do I need to come over or call an ambulance even? Okay. Okay, um, if you ever, and I mean like, ever, have thoughts of that again, please know that you can tell me. I don't want you doing something bad to yourself. Yeah, of course I mean it. I won't let anyone hurt my best friend. Not even you. You know, I think the best thing to do right now is to make a plan for the rest of the day. What do you think? No, it's not going to be super complicated. It doesn't have to be. Think of it more like a checklist. Just some, you know, stuff I want to help you get done. All right, so when I hang up, the first thing I want you to do is set an alarm for an hour from now. During that time, I want you to try and get some well-deserved sleep. Even if you can't, that's okay. As long as you try, that's all I can ask for. And once that alarm goes off, I want you to take a shower. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, I know it seems difficult. But I know you can do it. Can I give you a bit of advice? Well, one thing I did to get myself out of bed on those depressive days is I looked at the ceiling and counted to three out loud. On three, I'd push myself up so I was sitting. From that point, it's much easier to get yourself out of bed rather than laying back down. Yeah, you could take it as slow as you want. You can count to three, sit up, and sit there for a little bit. Then count to three again if you want. Dangle your feet on the side of the bed, sit there for a little bit, and count to three again. At that point, you'll be standing. You can do it as quickly or as slowly as you want. 
Does all of this sound doable so far? Okay, good. After showering and everything, I will need to put some clean clothes on too. And to help with this, I'd probably throw your dirty clothes in the laundry before you get in the shower. That way you won't be able to just pick them up off the floor or something. Can you do that? I knew you could. And next I'm going to go to the kitchen. From there, you can grab a little more food and pour yourself a glass of water. I'll tell you a little secret, though. Sometimes, I pour my water into a big bottle or mason jar instead of a cup, so I don't have to refill it as often. It makes drinking water a lot easier. I actually have my own little Starbucks cup I've been using. It helps a lot. And I promise I'll only ask you to do one more thing today. After getting your food and water, I want you to open a window and sit down. Not on the bed, but on the couch or on your desk chair, maybe. That way you'll have some sunlight, fresh air, and you won't be inclined to lay back down again. I know this seems like a lot, but I don't want you to think about it as, like, one big activity. Just take things one step at a time. When our conversation ends, all I want you to think about is trying to sleep. Once your alarm goes off, the only thing you should think about is sitting up, and so on and so forth. Hmm. Do you think it would help if you texted me after doing each step? Yeah. That way I can give you some positive reinforcement. I'm glad. I need you to be taking care of you. Otherwise, I'll have to break down the door and do it myself. <laughs> Seriously, though, thank you for letting me talk with you. I know things are difficult right now, and it feels impossible to do anything. But you are so strong. You're resilient. You are important. And you're precious. I know you can do this. I believe in you. Of course I mean it. Every single word. Okay. Well, um... Is there anything else you want to talk about? Okay. I'll probably hang up then. But remember, if you need me for absolutely anything... Do not hesitate to reach out. I'm always happy to help. Alright. I hope you have a good day, friend. Remember, I'm rooting for you. Bye-bye. I'll talk to you soon. I love you.